Hey guys, this is Josh with Curian, and I'm here to talk to you today about amperage testing or current testing through the N2. Now, let me talk to you a little bit about the ports we have here. So currently, between common and amp, you have just as your standard multimeters would, a fuse 10 amp circuit where you can actually put uh, current through the tool and we will measure it for you. But because of the uniqueness of the N2, we have the ability to do calculated amperage testing and we'll go through all of that today. So the very first set of amperage testing we're gonna do, and before we show you the benefits of two channel amperage testing, we will go ahead and connect our common here down to the ground port. Ah! Connect common here, come around and uh, connect it to the battery post. Then we're going to go ahead and take our amps here, plug it in. Now we're using our blue cable because, uh, well, we just want to, but we're going to go ahead and measure the amperage coming through this light bulb. This is a standard H4 bulb. And just to show you, we're going to turn it on. She turns on. Nothing crazy. But as we open the circuit, and now that we're connected to ground, we can actually connect that circuit through the N2 and we get our amperage reading 4.6 amps and if we wanted to of course we could graph all of this and you know what I'll go ahead and put it up here just because it's prettier that way we're gonna put this to auto we're gonna turn off channel 2 and you know nothing fantastic we're just graphing four amps going through the tool. Notice it goes on, it goes off. There it is. Uh, if we wanted to, we could actually speed this up a little bit. So let's say our hertz, let's go to a thousand hertz. We'll go back to graphing. We can even change up the points on screen. Let's make it a little bit, a little bit less so we could watch that inrush current. So big part of watching the inrush current is, or the max current or peak current as some folks say, uh, is you can actually start to get an idea about the operating health of your circuit. As I turn that on, you could see we peaked out to about nine, almost 10 amps, and then we came back around. Now, I missed that. I could turn auto scrolling off. I could come back. Um, currently, it's on auto ranging, but if I wanted to change that to manual ranging, now I can come in and re-take a look at that. So just over 10, under 10.2 amps, then we ramp back down. If I wanted to get a higher precision reading of that, I'm gonna go ahead and reactivate. Oh, well, let's see here. That was on for a while. There we go. There's the one that we just did. Oops. And we can get a little bit more on that picture. Now, obviously, as the bulb got hotter, its uh, necessity for power to ramp it up has reduced. But overall, we've got our picture there. So that's really awesome, that's really great. You can watch that with other components as you are testing. But one of the really cool things about the N2 is we can do Ohm's Law testing for you through the tool. Or you can utilize it at least for Ohm's Law testing to get a better idea about what's going on in that circuit. So what I'm doing here is I'm going into the volts side with the circuit connected. I went into the volts port. I'm gonna go ahead and take our cable, put it around here, and we are able to now get battery voltage and our current simultaneously. Now we're getting our live ohm reading. Now, some of the things we can do here, I'm gonna go ahead and turn everything off. We're all cool down for a second. We're gonna turn everything into auto ranging. And we're gonna turn on our auto scrolling. Now we can actually, in unison, watch the volts on the battery or the system and the amperage of the device at the same time to get a better idea for its operating health. So as we turn that on, we can see, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn auto scrolling off, we can see the peak in voltage uh, concurrently as we get our, I'm sorry, the peak in amperage as we get our drop in voltage from the turning on of the device and we can watch how that ramps back out. Now, some of you may be asking, well, why in the heck is the voltage dropping so much? It shouldn't drop for just a light bulb. The reality is we have such a sensitive unit here, the N2, that you are actually able to watch down, as you can see here, one, two, three, four, five, six decimal places on the battery. 
So whether you're turning on and off a big light bulb, or let's let's do this. We can actually, let's get this bulb going. Or a small bulb, and we'll turn auto scroll back on. And here, I'm gonna do it without the amperage on, but just watch this. Because it's so sensitive, as we turn on the bulb, you can actually see that drop and what it's doing to the surface charge. So if all you're looking for is to determine whether or not something is, is pulling down on that battery for you or whether or not you've got uh, something going on with a component where it's drawing, you're able to see that there. And uh, just to give you an example as to why that may be important, even though we're on the amperage testing, it is related. As I turn on the circuit, but there's high corrosion on it, we're actually pulling down voltage and amperage through the circuit. Well, just by being connected to the battery and having such a sensitive unit, we're able to pick that up. The, the benefits of the N2 is it allows you to see more, have deeper insights into what you're looking at. Well, thanks so much, guys. Um, that is it for measuring directly amperage. Now let's take a look at measuring amperage of a circuit through voltage drop. Now one of the really awesome things about the N2 here, and we're gonna go ahead and turn everything back on to auto ranging. One of the really awesome things is we have the ability to input uh, calculations for you and do math for you through the reading measurements. One of the advantages of having the N2 connected with our app is we can actually do a lot of interpretation for you and a lot of math. So right now, as, as we were looking earlier through this circuit, we were noticing that there was an amperage draw, even though it's not on. But we can go ahead and take a look at that through our parasitic draw testing, because more than likely something like that would give you an issue. So right now this fuse, or this circuit is going through a five amp standard fuse. So all we would do is go into our, our interpretations here, hit standard fuse, five amps, and there we go. Now in doing a voltage drop across the fuses, or a parasitic draw test, I'm gonna take positive to the most positive side. Sorry, I'm gonna move my arm here in a second. Negative to the other side. And I'm now measuring the amperage draw of this circuit through the N2. So there's three quarters of an amp going through it with it on. Now when we had that corrosion there, take a look at that. There's still over a quarter amp pumping through this circuit, even though it's not on. And if we wanted to go back and measure that light bulb again, we could do that as well. You just want to come in, tap standard. That one's going through a 10 amp fuse. Let's go ahead and turn that bulb on. And just like we saw with the amp meter, we can take that measurement and look, we have four and a half amps pumping right through that circuit. Now, some of you may be wondering, well, why would I want that? Um, aside from parasitic draw testing and not having to disconnect circuits or get in series with circuits and potentially disrupt the issue that was already there and making it intermittent, by doing this, you're actually able to test higher amperage systems and settings without having to break anything. So here we've got a fan on. Now let's take a look. This is going through a 20 amp standard fuse. Let's see, standard 20 amps. As I come across again, and I'll move my arm, you can see we're drawing 11.6 amps through this circuit. And then again, if we wanted to take a look at it with high corrosion on one part of it, you know, we're drawing half an amp through the circuit, even though it's not operating. Say something got stuck on and corroded out, you would still be able to measure that. But the intent of me showing you guys this is you're actually able to do these testing uh, for amperage through your voltmeter and the N2 and the app without having to break open a circuit. So that is it for today regarding the N2 and amperage testing. Thank you so much, guys, and have a great day. Bye-bye.